my topic is uh, programming the real world in production to support. So my name is Hong Dan. You can reach me at this email address. So here is the agenda. First, I will, I will introduce the uh, wireless sensor network and its application characteristics. And the second part, I will introduce what exactly the sport it is. And uh, at the third part, I will, we will focus on the sound sport and its uh, application software and hardware features and some code samples. After conclusion, I will give you some demos. So, what is wireless sensor network? Well, uh, according to Wikipedia, wireless sensor network is a wireless network consisting of spatially distributed autonomous devices using sensors to cooperatively monitor physical or environmental condition. Um, for example, that so the sensors can be deployed from airplane, and uh, before the deployment. Uh, individual sensors don't have any knowledge about the uh, network topolo to topology and uh, routing tables about the network. After deployment, they will uh, set, uh, set up the network by themselves. After the network is uh, set up, a uh, user can inject a query to the sensor field or to, to query on uh, some area or register some events to that and the sensor field can respond uh, data to the user. Uh, from user's point of view, that the sensor field looks like a uh, uh, distributed database. The user can send some SQL-like query languages to the field and get a response to that. So here is the concept architecture of the sensor. As you can see, there are four parts, four main parts. Sensing elements, uh, processing elements, and the uh, communication module are all based on the power supply. So power supply is the main, po main problem in the sensors. How to extend the, the lifetime, limited lifetime, to all these networks is a uh, main problem and uh, main issue in this. And also, the sensor is, so, is such a resource-constrained device that's limited in memory and uh, processor speed and also the uh, radio module for the uh, range of communication and uh, also memorism. So what the characteristics of the wireless sensor network? A uh, sensor is a kind of small-scale node. We also not call it a sensor node. We call it mode, like a, like a dust, smart dust. Like that. Uh, it's limited in power, and uh, it's very hard to harvest and, and uh, store the energy. Although you can uh, harvest the energy from the solar power, but it's very limited. And uh, the wireless sensor network often deployed in the harsh environment conditions, like uh, the battlegrounds and the forest. Next, uh, nodes may failure and the nodes may, may be mobile, so the network topology may check. Because the harsh environment communication is failure also very often, uh, nodes are often deployed in a large scale, like uh, tens of thousands of nodes are working together or cooperating. Uh, and also, because the harsh environment, so you can't uh, replace the battery or reconfigure every individual node. It's impossible. So sensor networks, the applications uh, can be in environment monitoring and uh, security defense. For example, here, it's a uh, scientist that uh, try to get some information about the rainforest. They deploy the sensors to different level of trees to, to get the data about the relation between the humidity, humidity uh, sunlight, and uh, the temperature. And uh, here is also an uh, application that uh, look at this red, uh, blue dot. It's a kind of uh, sensor that's uh, uh, attached with a microphone. They can 
they can uh, record the, the, the uh, time arrival of the sun. So if some someone shot a gun, the, the time difference of the, the sun will be different, right? And the calculate the time difference can, can get the range where the gun is. Right? So if you want to get more knowledge about this one, we just uh, uh, choose the subject next semester. The lecture is Dr. Eggman. It's not about two words. Actually, it's easy. Actually, it's easy. It's going to be offered in 2009 next time. <laughs> OK. So what is? Spot. Um, spot is first introduced by Sun. In Sun's version, it's small programmable object and of technology. Uh, recently, Microsoft also released uh, the Spot technology. It's called Smart Personal Object Technology. So, in my understanding, <coughs> Spot is just a technology that pushes uh, popular desktop application frameworks like the uh, native framework and uh, Java Virtual Machine and the programming languages like Java and C-sharp to embedded systems. So let's take a look at the spot layer, okay? As you can see that uh, the middleware is between the hardware level and the application level. Why, uh, the middleware can run with OS and without OS. So the, the advantage of well, the layer uh, of the middleware is that you can write much portable code than C code. And uh, it's easier to learn, as you can see that it's C sharp is much easier than, than C. Also, it's free to use, and uh, we have IDE to, to re rapid develop the applications, and also it's much safer than, than lower level C. The disadvantage is also there, that it's less flexibility you Sometimes you can't uh, touch the hardware level. level. And uh, the second, it's, it needs more resource to run this application, see yeah? um, yeah. yeah, just thing with, um, with one slide. So I just wanted to say something. You probably want to probably also talk about any typical operating system. And then C, I mean, I'm not sure if C is much easier than C, but I can promise you one thing that C, in time OS, Machine. 
Uh, this virtual machine actually is extended from J2 ME, so the source code of that is very, looks like very similar. <coughs> Uh, you can use NetBeans to to develop the the application squad virtual machine. Okay, here you can see that the minimum requirements is relatively smaller than the .NET frame, micro framework, <coughs> but there is no user interface uh, in the squad Java, uh, Java machine. So here's a brief of the sunspot. Uh, battery sleep, deep sleep current, CPU 120 megahertz, and a memory for RAM and flash, and a radio for the PAN personal area network, and also embedded some sensors. I'll cover this later. Can I ask just one question? Yeah. So what do you always want uh, for the uh, Actually, there are two bands that you use. So that's a higher band. Yeah, but, and so what, what's the benefit of using 2.4? Supporting blood oil, I think. What's that? Supporting blood oil. Yeah, um, and, I mean, so that, yes, I mean, because they obviously also operate at the same frequency, but there is one more thing why you always. Why don't we see 2.1? Thank <laughs> you. 